Hello, welcome to Sue's in the Shed. Today I'm going to give you a really quick tutorial on how to do broomstick crochet. So for this tutorial, you're going to need a ball of yarn of your choice. You're going to need the hook size to match your yarn. So if you're using a double knit yarn, you need a four millimeter or a 4.5 millimeter hook. And you're going to need a stick or a broomstick or a huge knitting needle or something that's got a bit of width to it to make you some nice loops on your broomstick crochet. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to chain a foundation chain in multiples of five plus one. So you can do 25 plus one, which is 26, or 30 plus one, which is 31. Um, we're going to be working in fives for this tutorial. Sometimes you can work in threes, sometimes you can work in sixes, but today we're going to work in fives. So we'll start by doing that. I will do four lots of five plus one, so 21. One. Twenty-one. We're going to make a double crochet into the second chain from the hook. So it's not that one, it's that one. And a double crochet, hook in, draw your yarn back, yarn round, two off. And into the next stitch in yarn back yarn round two off we're going to do this all the way along the piece Okay, so we've got to the end there and what we're going to do now is we're going to pull this loop large and you're going to put it over your broomstick. Now this is where it gets a little bit awkward because normally we'd be starting at this end and moving that way if you're right-handed, but we're going to be starting at this end and moving that way. So it's a little bit alien to your regular crochet, but if you have a look at the stitches that you've normally normally got the, these little V's, you put your hook under, you get two pieces of yarn over the top. We're just going to use them as normal. Now we're already in that one, so we're going to go into this one. We're going to draw the yarn back. We're going to pull it large and put it on your broomstick. Pull it tight, not too tight. You don't want them too tight, just comfortable. Go to your next stitch, hook in, draw your yarn back. Pull it large, split the stitch there, and pop it on your broomstick. Normally I, I do this at a, a much better angle, but for video purposes, I'm having to do it at the table. So you need to find what's comfortable where you stick your stick. Some people stick it in between their knees, some people stick it under an arm. We're going to go across and we're going to put every loop on from every stitch. So I'll end up with 25 loops on this crochet, on this um, broomstick here. Okay, I'm back with my 20 loops. I think I said 25 a minute ago, but I was working on 21. So that gave me 20. So I've got my 20 loops in place. And the next thing you're going to do is we're going to take these loops back off. So have them close up to your end of your broomstick. And this is where I like a piece of wood, a piece of dowling rather than um, a knitting needle because the knitting needles are quite slippy. But as you can see that these take a little bit of moving about so you've got a little bit more control over it. You're going to slide your hook into the first five stitches at the bottom. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Take them to the top so that exactly opposite your seam there. And we're going to do a slip stitch to join them all into place. So one slip stitch and then one chain one and that becomes your knot. So we've knotted that all into place now. So what we can safely do is take all of these off the broomstick, get rid of that. Now these won't go anywhere. I wouldn't necessarily recommend that you lay it down and let your dog play with it. But for this purpose, we can work, continue to work on these loops. So we're going to work five double crochets into that hole. We don't count this one we've already got. So five double crochets into that hole. One, two, three, four, five. 
two, three, four, five. Now we're going to pick up the next five loops. So one, two, three, four, five. And we're going to work five double crochets into that. So we start with the one, pull it through all the loops to start and two off, that's one. Open up your loop and do another four. Two, three, four, five. And again, pick up the next five. One, two, three, four, five. Start your first double crochet, fetching them through the loop and take the two off. Open up the hole and do another four. That's two, three, four, five. And the last set, one, two, three, four, five, exactly the same. Double crochet the first one, open it up and finish the five off. Okay, so we've put five double crochets into each of the five sets of loops. So we're going to chain one and turn round and you're going to double crochet back. Now what you need to make sure is that you get the five stitches above the archway. Um, otherwise you tend to lose count and your next row will be slightly off. So if we can go one, two, three, four and five in the dip. One, two, three, four, five in the dip. So we'll go ahead and do those double crochets. One, two, three, four, and five in the dip. One, two, three, four, and five in the dip. I'll just finish to the end. And five. And what we're going to do now is we're going to pull that large. We're coming back to your broomstick. Where we pop that in place. And working back along your stitches exactly like we did in the first place, we're going to go through. Draw your yarn back, lift it large, and put it on your broomstick. Next stitch, draw your yarn back. Pull it large on the stick and again. I'm going to do that all the way over. So I've now got my 20 loops back on. Make sure you count them. Make sure you've still got your right amount or it won't be divisible by five. And we're going to do it all again. So we're going to pull this down a little. Slide your hook under the first five. Slide your hook to the top. And we're going to do one slip stitch and then one chain stitch. So slip them all together and chain. Then we can slide all these off. Open up that hole and do your five double crochets. So we don't count that first one as a stitch. Five. Pick up your next five loops. One, two, three, four, five. And do your five double crochets. And your next five loops. I 
and your last five. And your next row is chain one to turn. And you're going to double crochet into every stitch. That includes the very first one, each stitch, making sure your five sit on top of your five. And that is how you do broomstick crochet. You're just going to repeat the two rows, the broomstick row and the double crochet row until you get it the length that you require. Enjoy.